Hello, my name is Shotley and welcome back for another episode of Columbia Space Initiative Supreme Ruler Ultimate. And in previous episode, we did manage to get pretty close to Chicago. I played a little bit forward, I think about uh, two weeks or so. We actually managed to get the bipedal vehicle prototypes already, but it just unlocked another tech that we are currently already researching. But that's gonna take um, a few years to be completed. So, yeah, that's not gonna be providing us new troops anytime soon. I have spent some time capturing, for example, the land production over there, and I also capture a little bit more land down here. We're actually fighting in Springfield right now, which means that we're probably sending a bit of reinforcements there, because it looks like the garrison is still holding quite a bit, but now we got the cloaking technology, and I believe that... Oh, well, actually, it doesn't unlock anything new yet. Alright then, do we have anything in here with... No, not really. Nothing new, anyway. So, we're still waiting for quite a bit of things to get more troops. Uh, but we have started attacking down here. There's a triple land production in here, so... Seems like that is going to be quite a um, good location to capture. Because we can then produce more troops. Of course, we are having a bit of a problem with money again. Now, of course, a large portion of that is just because we are still building quite a bit. Once we're done with the construction work, then we should be gaining a little bit of money. But until we get to that point, we are going to have a little bit of problems. But we can take that one. And then that can go back to get some repairs, I reckon. So we'll send these three to be repaired. And then let's have a look at... Um, could technically try attacking over there, but... Oh, right, Buffalo here, then we got Cleveland. We've got a few units over here repairing, and you need to pull back. Attacking Cicero over here, and we're so close to Chicago. Or downtown Chicago, anyway. Um, oh, right, and we got a bit more crows that we sent from south. So that's good, that should allow us to keep on pushing here. The enemy military approval rating is now less than one third. So, well, things are actually looking fairly good. Are we... We are going to have to wait for a few moments to get some supplies back, I reckon. Also, I do have quite a bit of uh, industrial and military goods still, what I can keep on selling. Like, we've got massive reserves, so we can keep the economy more or less afloat until we are done with the construction works. Let's grab the... Troops in here, and then this entire stack of 19 years can attack there. And also, I do have quite a bit of the tanks down here that I am going to be moving down here. Let's try to capture a little bit more from the Chinese. They only have two garrisons here, so that's actually really easy to beat. I don't think we'll run out of supplies even on these troops right now. Let's quickly make sure that we win this. Then we'll give a bit more orders down here. So you captured that already, you can probably go ahead in there. Then we've got quite a bit of these, which I suppose could also move further south. Then down here, I believe we've got a bit of reinforcements as well. Yeah, we've got two crows there. Not entirely sure how useful they'll be in here, but I'm sure that they will have some uses. And we can destroy that unit there. There's quite a bit in here. Eventually we will try to spread the influence that we have there. But it may take some time. Okay, so that one needs to pull back. Should probably send this one to be repaired, actually. Luckily, it's not that far away to be repairing, so should be fine. For the most part, and now we're already destroying the garrisons in Chicago itself, although Elmhurst is also fighting, so we may take some losses here. We need to keep an eye on that. Let's probably send you to be repaired as well. I don't suppose we have any more troops arrived here. We've got another crow that we can send north. Then over here, the infantry can move into the city itself. So we'll keep on pushing in multiple directions right now. Oh, okay, we've got a lot of units in Springfield. Um, we don't take those infantry units. We can perhaps entrench in there. Then you guys entrench in there as well, and this one can be sent back to be repaired. Alright then, well that's good to know. Then we can move up a little bit more troops. Another crow needs to pull back, I reckon. 
So the garrison in Chicago is down to, well, three garrisons, about to be two garrisons. This one can be sent for repairs. We've got a few units over here guarding the flank because there was some enemies that just pushed through there earlier. Oh, they're sending some planes, but we do have some anti air guns, so it's not all bad. And now, slowly but surely, Chicago is going to fall. We are going to be losing some money again. We just sold quite a bit of uh, industrial goods, but yeah, we're going to have some problems in there. Right, so we're now pushing back the garrisons and all the troops in Elmhurst. Slowly but surely, uh, we lost some territory. We can actually gain some more money, so we had not sell sold everything that we were selling. Fair enough. Uh, have we managed to... I don't think we have. We are still spending 190 million per day on construction, so it's still going to take a while for the... Well, mostly the consumer goods factories to be made. Or rather, completed. Now, let's get to Chicago, and we should be... Oh, yeah, we took their capital, indeed. Now, I wonder, will they give up yet? They are down to 28% approval rating. We can send this one to join the battles. That one can be sent back to be repaired. And we should have a stack over here that can keep on moving forward. So you guys entrench there. That can entrench in normal. This one can be sent for repairs. So Evanston is the um, latest target here near Chicago and doesn't look like they surrendered yet. Well, we'll know in... yeah, no, they didn't surrender. Where did they move their capital now? Ah, in Boston. Well, we've still got a little bit of troops around here, but we have taken quite a bit of losses in the region. So we can probably take some of the places in here and keep on pushing. I mean, I have a feeling that if we can just keep on pushing in a lot of places at once, we can drop the military approval rating quite a bit. And actually, over here, we could start producing some more crows. Like, uh, at this stage, the crows have been the most reliable unit. Like, they can keep on fighting for a long while. They do a decent damage. Or decent enough damage, anyway. Let's take these around to capture the airbase. Oh, that's a lot of bombers. That's going to be painful. Um, I don't suppose we... Well, we've got a lot of it over here that we could maybe move forward. Probably still too far away, though. We'll see if we can actually destroy the garrison. We are going to lose some units in here. There's no way around that, unfortunately. And they should probably move back into the combat. They are now sending the planes away at least, so that gives us a bit more breathing room. Well, some of the planes by the looks of it. Oh no. Okay, these need to pull back. If they can. Not entirely sure that they can, but we'll give them a shot. Okay, so over here we got quite a bit of places to capture. That crow needs to move back. To be repaired, we could send these forward. Northampton. It's going to be falling soon enough, I reckon. And then in Chicago, has the situation? I think what we could do... Oh, okay, that needs to go for repairs. I'm going to do that first. Then we're going to move this one a little bit closer again. And then this stack should probably try to take Elmhurst and then destroy the garage in Whedon. That's a little bit surely push further and further north along the lake here. I don't actually know which lake this is in particular, but I, I know it's one of the Great Lakes. Right, I suppose what we could do is just send in the infantry. There's not going to be that many enemies, and of course we can send you into the uh, town as well. We've got another artillery group that we could move forward. Let's do that. Now, how are we doing on the... Okay, over here we could potentially attack a few more places, especially down here. Let's move in the troops closer. And over here we got some extra troops. we got quite a bit of crows down here, actually. Is there anything in particular that we need to attack down here? Um, Not necessarily. 
I mean, there's a lot of places that we can attack, with a lot of individual cities here and there that we could attack. Let's send you down here, so we can take uh, those three towns there. And then over here are... right, this crow needs to go get some repairs, I reckon. We are regaining control of the road here, at least, so that's nice. Oh, that's a lot of infantry, infantry. And we've got a lot of tanks. So we could start attacking down here towards Portland and then all the way towards uh, Seattle, but that is going to be a long trip, more or less. They already, oh, wow, they had a lot of troops in there. It looks like we are doing mostly okay in the attack here. Could actually send this one into the combat as well. Now, we did capture that. I suppose what I could do is I could go ahead and attack uh, Juliet. Then go around here to capture these towns. I reckon that might be the safest path to do that. Then we've got a few units over here that can go ahead and hunt down that mortar. How much are we still losing money? Uh, quite a bit. In fact, um, is there something that we're not selling then? We haven't been selling a lot of... Uh, ooh. Okay, well, lower the price a little bit. So maybe we can keep on selling some military goods. That crow needs to pull back. We should at least have some... Oh, that's mostly anti-aircraft stuff. Never mind. Well, then we can just move this group all the way in. I'm sure that there's going to be some planes around anyway. I thought that would be an artillery group, to be fair. But I guess well, I was mistaken. We've got a lot of anti-aircraft guns around here, actually. Okay, that's an artillery group. You can go towards... Uh, Chicago. Let's see, so there is the seven garrisons plus one infantry. These are now starting to fall. Right, so the next tech that we get is future helicopter designs, and that's over a hundred days away. So not anytime soon. Aurora is seven garrisons plus the infantry, but now that we are in the city ourselves, we shouldn't be taking quite as much damage. So I think we'll be fine on that front. There's two over there. Uh, have we got any more troops? Ooh, right, we got these troops. Ready to attack Huntington, I think. So we can take that one over here. We could probably go ahead and take the industrial um, complex down there. And then these can probably start moving towards Cumberland. Got Quite a bit of crows here that can move into the forest. Take uh, Max Key. Uh, Max Key Sport. Okay. And we're still losing a massive amount of cash. I mean, we can still sell some industrial goods, but the price has dropped so drastically that it might actually be better to just drop the production values. Go back to like 40,000 or so. Because that's going to reduce the cost that we have quite a bit. Can you? You did manage to retreat. Good. We'll pull you back all the way to Johnstontown. We did lose a crow over here, though. But we got such a massive stack of troops here that I think we'll be mostly okay. Like, those garrisons should be going down rather quickly. And then the infantry down here can entrench in Columbus. And that crow needs to pull back. Moving these closer so they can join in the battles. Now we can get into Aurora. And that one needs to go get some repairs. We've got a little bit more repaired units there now. Good. Still losing some money, I reckon. Well, we can see now the effect. Okay, it's still a little bit of a loss, but not even nearly as much. Okay, and now the price of uh, industrial goods is going up quite a bit again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell a little bit more military goods, like another 100,000. Not going to be producing all that much of them. We'll give the tanks a few moments to resupply before we keep on pushing forward. But there shouldn't be a garrison in Wheaton yet, so that is good for us. I'm sending the infantry to the bridge there, and then this group could probably go ahead and join the battles here around uh, Chicago or start pushing east towards Detroit. 
Or something like that. Okay, so we got two crows over here that I need to definitely pull back. Then you guys can get into the city. Got a few more over here. Could probably move into the bridge. So there is still quite a bit of big area down here. From well, Cincinnati we have captured. Actually, we got quite a bit of troops in there that we could move about. I reckon. Yeah, let's just move into the plains there. It's only four garrisons in Mason. These two can be sent for repairs, I reckon. Not entirely sure where the closest repair shop is. Probably in Springfield here. One of the many. Let's go ahead and take the industrial complex there. And then these troops are now probably good to move forward and destroy the garrisons in Elgin. Okay, there is the secondary group moving in. Do we need to pull back any of those? Not yet. You know what, I think actually moving the secondary group on the eastern side is probably better. So we can start pushing towards uh, Detroit and Cleveland and all that. And over here we're fighting in Pittsburgh. Uh, that crow needs to pull back. And these three need to go get some repairs. Right, uh, we've got four in Harrisburg. I suppose we might want to send them towards uh, Boston actually. Because we are going to start needing more troops in that region. I can move back into the city. These two. Oh, we lost a unit. No, we lost territory. Okay, good. I was worried that uh, we lost another unit somewhere, but I guess we did not. Uh, looks like we can actually destroy the. Well, we did destroy the garrison at the airfield. That is rather nice. Now it's just a matter of destroying the garrison in Elmira, which may be a bit more difficult. Okay, now we did lose a unit somewhere. Amazing. Okay. Oh, the infantry doesn't want to go in there. I see. Well, the tanks are still doing damage. There we go. Let's get into Mason. These three can get along the... Oh, right, they were moving so s slowly. Because that's technically a... river province. And Indianapolis is still... Also another area that we do need to capture, and we just don't have the troops for that quite. Oh, and Hammondsport. Oh, right, one of the units there. Okay, let's us send in troops. Elmira, I think we will capture that, but we are going to take quite a bit of losses in here, unfortunately. Not much I can do about it. So far, so good. Right, so we got this massive stack, well, not really a massive stack, but a stack nonetheless. Uh, apparently we got Amsterdam, another Albany, Saratoga Springs. Yeah, there's quite a bit of things in here. Slowly capturing them though. Um, right, so we got the tanks there, we did get the reinforcements here. So let's go ahead and take Norwich. We do have a lot of artillery around here. Let's have a look at the approval rating. They got 28%. How much do they have military left? One and a half million. Considering that they started with, well, 5.7, that's quite a big difference. And they won't be producing it all that much either. I mean, to be fair, we've taken like um, at least 60% of their territory. Maybe more. I mean, if we factor in Mexico and all the way to Panama, then probably 75%. So it kind of makes sense that they've lost the vast majority of the troops. Let's go ahead and start grouping up the troops here for another assault. To go further north. There's the bend over there that we should probably go ahead and take as well. To send in some infantry down that way. Now we've still got the battles ongoing near here. Okay, Hamilton is falling. Good, we can take that. And then over here, that one needs to go get some repairs, but that stack can get into Huntington. 
You can again probably start going around a little bit, and then over here we've got quite a bit of inventory. I can start attacking Clarksburg. Uh, do we have any over here? We've got another unit that has been produced by the looks of it. Let's go ahead and entrench you there, and apparently we do have a unit that needs to pull back. Luckily, we're going to send you to be repaired over there instead. But yeah, once we take the area around New London and all that, then we can start pushing slowly towards Boston. It will take some time before we can actually capture all of that, because we don't have that massive amount of troops here. Also, are we still spending a lot of money on the construction? Yes, we are. Well, it's a good thing that we had the reserves of various materials in here, because otherwise we'd be losing a lot of cash. I mean, we have been losing a lot of cash, but we probably would be bankrupt by now. I mean, of course, we do have things that we can kind of cut, if need be, like uh, unit production and all that. Although, I think we still are going to need quite a bit of units. So there is that, but let's just take that one. New London, we're going to have to pull back some of these troops rather soon. Well, they're not actually... Okay, now you need to pull back. We can probably just attack from there. We do have artillery support at least, so that does help a long way. But they have that as well, so... It goes both ways. Okay, we're still losing several million... Or oh, a few million dollars per day. That's not great. Alright, uh, we can get a little bit closer with these again. Just gather up another stack. Uh, we got a bit of infantry in here. I think what we need to do is attack Pittsfield. There's some artillery there that has been hammering us for a long while. And then these units... Oh, there's a lot of planes flying around. I think those are patrol planes, maybe. Okay. We managed to capture Elmira, and then we have a massive amount of troops here that need to be pulled back to be sent for repairs. Because they are not good for fighting right now. Not even remotely. Okay, is there something that we're not selling? Because we There is something that we're not selling. Okay, what is it? It's not rubber. Not timber, not oil. Electricity. Oh. Oh, we're going to lower the price a little bit there then. Because that is one thing that we do make quite a bit of money in, in the end. Right, so this entire stack of eight needs to go get some repairs. And then we've got a bit of infantry in here that could probably move forward. And the crows in here. The question is, do I go for Syracuse? And the airfield there, which is probably quite a bit of planes in there. But I could maybe push some of the enemy planes away. Of course, we can start attacking over here, near Elkhart at least. Let's gather up the troops there. And these troops can get into Elgin and Weedon. We didn't actually take Weedon though. Let's we'll send in a unit in there. There we go. And now we got the artillery group closer as well. So we can probably take out Evanston. Uh, how's the situation here? We've got some infantry waiting there. We've got a couple units in here that have been repaired recently. So they can certainly keep on pushing forward. Then we've got the infantry stacks here. Let's group them up in the forest there. Along the rail. Oh, uh, we lost another crow somewhere. Oh, right. In here. Well, I would assume that the stacks... Enemies... Oh, there we go. I went down rather quickly. Okay, well, that's only four garrison and infantry, so that's going to be quick, and then we can, at the same time, take out the industrial complex here next to the rail. That didn't take too long. A little bit of troops, we can probably get them forward along the rail there. And then this stack can probably get back to Chicago. There is a garrison in Evanston, but it's not really impressive right now and we're still losing money and we are at least selling the we are selling the power again and how much are we making oh it's actually only 125 million so it's not quite as much as i hope it would be 
Right, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the amount of uh, industrial goods that we produce. And uh, we can just sell some of the stockpiles that we have of that, like another 100 million or so. Right, so this group entrench in Evanston. That's going to be a lot of fighting in here, so we are going to have to keep a keen eye on the troops here. And pull them back whenever need be. At least we're pushing some of the marines and infantry back. So we don't need to be fighting them all the way through. Just most of the way through. Okay, the other crow unit over here needs to pull back probably really soon. I'll do that right now instead of waiting for too long. And looks like the artillery group is actually not firing, so we need to bring that closer. Do we need to pull back anyone else yet? Not really. Okay, now the artillery is firing, good. Island Park is pretty much done for. Arlington Heights is now the next one. We do have another crow though that we might want to pull back. Once it reaches in Cicero, we will send all three of the units there to be repaired. And we are still losing a lot of money, is it? Okay, th there must be something else that we're not selling right now. Oh, we lost another elite force down somewhere. Oh, I forgot that I sent these troops for attacking Pittsfield. Oh, we can send in some reinforcements there. Should be arriving shortly. And that one needs to pull back if it can. Probably won't have the time to actually get there. Although... It's gonna cut close, but no, it's gonna die. Unless we can destroy enough of the enemy units there. Oh no, it did survive. Barely, but it survived. Alright, well that can be sent for repairs, and we lost units somewhere. No, we just lost uh, territory. Okay, so even though... Well, even if we don't put, construct anything, we're still going to be losing some money. Hmm. I wonder how much can we reduce the like if we have a look at the expenditures production is two and a half billion defense is 1.9 billion so that is quite a massive amount in there we might want to lower the maintenance and training a little bit so if it's currently at that if we go one two three four five so that would be about 90 percent of what is required right now and that, yeah, that is over 100 million already, so that should lower the expenditures enough for us to be able to keep kind of things still rolling. And do we have, we got the artillery group here. Let's go ahead and get you to New London. It'll be within range of Warwick, among other things. And do we have, we got another crow down here that could be moved forward. But we are actually out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you have it already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.